Welcome, Snot Flogger fans. What a way to start this episode. This week for Tacticus, we are facing down the runt herder from the Orc faction. Armed with his trusty herder pole and his attack squig, Snot Flogger can pack a punch. He is hilarious named. Uh, this character, once you've actually unlocked him, is pretty good at fighting. Uh, if he gets surrounded, he can call on his grots to come to his rescue, though they do run away and die quite easily. And then his handy little red squig actually kills quite a lot. He is in my current lineup in uh, the arena battles. So let's get in and see if we can beat this boss and start earning some tokens to upgrade him. So for this boss he has 8 grot assistants and 3 grot tanks which they're going to be the annoying thing. So I have no choice, I have to use the free Templars. But for my other two choices I picked the Ogren because he's great at close combat and of course the sniper. The sniper just kills stuff so I had to take him. I run up with the banner bearer straight away, kill one off and then I stupidly used the power move on the hammer guy which left him hanging in the breeze. The other two characters on that side couldn't really do much and the sniper couldn't hit the tank. My hammer dude is wide open and the tanks come in and obliterate him. It sucks, so we're going to start again. <laughs> Hopefully the lesson has been learnt. Let's see. So, I'm going to swap some people around. The hammer's going with the snipe. Snipe's moving forward. I was pretty disappointed with the aggressor. I f thought he'd do more damage against the grass and he really didn't. So hammer goes forward, banner goes forward. This time I decide to use his missile pod which wipes out all three grots on that side. The ogren's left with no targets. The sniper I leave for overwatch but the grots moved first so it didn't make much difference. The banner bearer then took a big hit. So I did the ultimately the most bravest thing I could do. I used the sniper to kill the runt herder which caused everyone to run away. And then out of fear that the banner bearer might get sniped by a tank, I ran away with him. And then it just became a clean up job. So as you'll see, I'm on for three medals this turn, unless there's one Grot to sign Gamazin. And we scored the lightning victory. Onwards and upwards, we're on to the next boss, which is the Tank Smasher. He is an orc war boss that rides a squig, so I'm excited for that one. Hopefully you can join me next week, and cheers for watching.